Hi everybody, this is Owen is Dead. And sorry that uh, I haven't posted a video for a while, but I'm hoping to get back into it, or I am going to get back into it. Um, a bit more, uh, well I was committed to it before, but a few things came up uh, that were taking up my time. So, sorry about that. But hopefully you'll enjoy some of the new videos, and hopefully some more people will enjoy the videos as well. So anyway, this was a quick update about actually specifically the Rift. I wanted to post a video since the one that I did about my thoughts on it before release and my experience with the DK2. Now I had the Rift come through at the end of April, which gave me a chance to have a play around with it and experiment with a few different things. And essentially what I found out is SLI does not work with the Rift. And when I say it does not work, it doesn't give you any increase in performance that I can tell. So when I had a DK2 and even when I had my CV1 arrive, I was running a NVIDIA surround setup, so I had um, three screens as one panel, and then had two screens plugged into one, and the other, another two screens plugged into the, the other one, but only one of those was part of the main display. So I was using both the cards to power or drive multiple displays, and uh, in an SLI configuration as well, because you have SLI enabled in surround. Now when I was using the Rift, it was showing utilization from the tests that I ran on both of those cards. Uh, one was running you know, 90%, the other one 99. Uh, and it was running fine. And I was getting 90 FPS in all of the titles that I was running. So, you know, E-Valkyrie, um, you know, the 3D sort of rendered video demos and um, some of some of the other games. There we go. I need to just hide for a second. Yeah, and some of the other games. So, um, it was running absolutely fine. Now, a few months, uh, a couple of months down the line, I decided that I'd upgrade, um, just purely because I had the opportunity to. And I was going to get a... Uh, I actually ordered a 1080, an aftermarket 1080 that somebody told me was in stock and it was a good deal. And I just thought, yeah, okay, why not? So I ordered it and then they came back to me and said, okay, we lied, we don't have it, sorry. So I cancelled it. And by that time I was pretty pissed because I was already thinking of, okay, I had an upgrade in my mind. So I ended up uh, buying two 980 Ti's and I was waiting for those to arrive. But what I did is I took one of my 780's out really sorry I, I need to stay in here for a bit because there's something nasty gonna happen in a minute uh, so I took one of my 780s out just gonna give that to somebody and I thought I'm gonna quickly test how things run on the system with just one 780 and to my surprise E Valkyrie 90 FPS um, all the other things I mentioned you know were running flawlessly 90 FPS no problems well, this is a bit strange, you know, I'm not really getting any benefit from the second 780, so I actually put it back in, ran some more tests, 90 FPS. Uh, so I was a little bit puzzled. I thought, surely one 780 can't just run everything when they said, you know, you need this to, to run these games and these titles. So to cut a long story short, I played around with di different configurations, and I found out that if you disable NVIDIA Surround, and you have SLI enabled to drive one display, uh, and you run the Rift, you get absolutely zero usage on the second card in in SLI in VR. It does nothing at all. If you enable surround, it then shows that it starts uh, rendering, and it's it's using it. You know, strange. It's using you know ninety odd percent of the card. But the bottom line is, is it doesn't make any difference in the frames per second at all and the performance. Oh shit! No, I want my XMA. Uh, it seems to be that if you're running a surround configuration that it fools the system or something funky happens with the driver where you apparently are using the second card to render. Mm, that sounds quite nasty out there. Where you're actually using the second card to render but it's not actually doing anything and I don't know why and I mentioned it to the um, Oculus Rift developers and said, you know, there's something funky going on here. They hadn't tested it on a surround setup, so they're not too sure what was going on. And they were going to look into it. 
but yeah, it doesn't really do anything. And I did actually find that a couple of titles, Assetto Corsa in particular, absolutely despises you having SLI enabled when you try and run it. You kind of get some undesired effects <laughs> uh, where everything is going blurry and weird when you're spinning your head around and you can't see anything. It's like you've got a double image and you have to disable SLI to get that to run properly. So, yeah, unfortunately, SLI doesn't really appear to do anything, and it was only the fact that I had surround enabled that it was kind of looking like it was doing something and pretty much tricking me into believing that SLI worked. Just bring out my clothes here. So, with there's uh, the video VR works, isn't there? There's a few other things that are looking into using VR and SLI, and I saw a demo as much as like a year ago where a guy was playing around with the developer kit and um, it was showing that it was kind of working and he was getting nearly double the performance with using um, SLI rendering. Nobody's introduced that yet, but I know that fairly recently they've actually um, integrated that or they're going to. Um, uh, they've developed it for use with the, I think uh, the Unreal Engine, the current Unreal Engine and Unity as well which is good news so hopefully in the future we will see you know VRS SLI working in virtual reality I'm pretty hopeful of that but the good news is is that that means that what I was doing is I was actually running eValkyrie and all the launch titles on 1.7.780 granted it was overclocked but it was running those titles on 1.7.80 with well, uh, with very little uh, issue, to be fair. So, the good news is that you could potentially run an Oculus Rift and get a, a, a good experience out of V Valkyrie and a lot of other games and a lot of the 3D movies and titles and software just by using something like uh, one GTX 780. So, um, that's kind of it really. I just wanted to whoops, I just wanted to give an update to say SLI doesn't really work at the minute. It may do in the future. Um, but hey, you know, you, you can run an Oculus Rift on a lower specification than what was recommended. So that's kind of good news. Um, yeah, that was it really. Other than that, uh, the Rift is pretty good. In fairness, it it's a big it's a big step up from the development kit uh, I'm not really paying attention to this unfortunately it's a big step up from the development kit in terms of both fidelity and the overall quality of the display and uh, I, I don't think it's worth the money that they're actually charging for it the 500 pounds if I'm perfectly honest I think it's you know it should be similar to something like the PlayStation VR like 300 I know that's not as advanced but then you know um, I, I don't think that the display that they've put in it uh, and everything else kind of warrants the £500 price tag, but hey, that's me. But all in all, it's a pretty good introduction to virtual reality, and uh, it, it definitely gives a good experience anyway. And for those that haven't had any experience with VR and they've only, or they've only used like a little mobile cardboard thing or whatever, I think it will still blow them away. So it's definitely worth a look. Anyway, this is more about the SLI aspect of it. Unfortunately, it doesn't work. So, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, but, you know, you will be surprised. If you've got a 780 or above, then, you know, you should be able to run quite a few different uh, titles on it and not need to instantly upgrade. And that was it, really. So, anyway, that was uh, an update on the SLI situation with Rift. And I hope it helped some people that maybe th were thinking about buying the Rift and haven't actually done so yet and wondered if it would actually work because there may have been people that had, say, I don't know, 680s in SLI and wondered if that would work, things like that. So I would say a 780 Ti is probably a minimum to get an experience with some of the launch titles. I can't guarantee that I'll run everything because the new games that I've been purchasing, I've been running with the 980 Ti um, set up. So, yeah, but you can give it a try. All right, thanks, guys. That's it for this video. I don't want to ramble on too much. I just wanted to kind of um, give an overall opinion or view of that and to update and I will see you in another video. Thanks guys.